Hey guys, long time no see. It's Mark with Dragon 7 Drone Tech. And today we're going to test out the wind resistance with the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2. I'm going to fly each one up in the air and then point the camera down so you can see how it's holding its positioning. The wind speed right now at ground level is uh, looks like uh, five, six, ten miles per hour, but definitely up higher, maybe just as little as 20, 30 feet. It might be gusting up to 25 miles per hour. So the Mavic Mini is supposed to handle wind speeds up to 29 miles per hour, and the Mini 2 is supposed to be 35.7 miles per hour. I don't, it's not going that fast as far as the wind, so we're not going to really be able to test that. But hopefully it'll give you some kind of an idea. Quite honestly, when the wind is blowing over 20 miles per hour for either drone, I would definitely not take it up in the air. Uh, if you do, though, just a quick tip is you definitely want to fly into the wind so that you could fly back home going with the wind. All right. So wish me luck and let's see what happens. Pointing the camera down. Okay, point it down. It's just like three feet above the ground. Now I'm going to go up. Okay, now I'm at 25, 26 feet. Holding its position. I'm gonna turn around so I'm pointing into the wind in case I hit a gust of wind. All right, wind's picked up a little bit. Still holding its position. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. Forty feet there, it's getting pushed big time. I'm gonna drop the altitude. Okay, flying back into the wind, trying to. <laughs> All right. There, so back over the takeoff point you can see here right over my head Oops. there I am I'm gonna do that again and see what happens I'm at 10 feet really when I was about 40 feet then it wasn't able to hold this position. 30 feet. Now I'm at 40 feet. Okay, wind's gusting. Wind's gusting. Now it's pushing it back. Okay. Reducing my altitude. Okay, coming back. Coming back. Really windy right now. Definitely 25 miles per hour. Drone is fighting to come back. Come on. I know you could do it. All right, here we go. Cool. All right. Woo. Not easy to land. There we go. Landing. Okay. Woo. That was fun. Now we're going to try the Mini 2 and see if it holds its position better. Okay, here we go with the Mini 2. Take off. Okay, bring the camera down. Let's get over my head so we have 
a reference point. There we go. About 10 feet, holding its position. So we'll go up to 20. Holding position, wind's gusting a little bit. Yep, yep, there we go. It's going back. Just at 20 feet, and it's already moved out of position. Oh, wow, sports mode. It's really gone back a lot quicker than the Mini 2. I'm sorry, the, it's gone back a lot quicker than the Mini 1. That's interesting. I'm in sport mode for both of them. Wow, that's interesting. Huh. Let's try that again. Get over my head. About 10 feet high. Holding position. Get up to 10 feet high. Wow, it's already moved out of position. Huh. And at 10 feet, I'm not able to bring it back. I gotta drop the altitude. Basically just skim the ground so there's minimum wind. And now I'm back where I was. Huh. Right now in sport mode, I can't even get back in position here. That's really, Horrible. Okay. Huh. Very odd. I got to do this again. So now I'm at about 12, 13 feet. It's not that windy right now. Um, picking up a little bit of wind. I don't know. I'm hesitant to go up because it didn't hold its position nearly like the Mini, which is really, really surprising. Huh, right now, just with a little bit of gusts of wind, it's already moved out of position. Trying to fly it back now. That beep, the other remote controller, turning that off. Okay. I'm going to keep trying this again. Okay, back in position. Get up to about 10 feet. Okay. Wow, it's already moving out of position. Huh. Wow, this is really, really horrible. Still flying. Still flying backwards. And I'm just kind of going low and then just trying to fly back to uh, the takeoff point. I don't know, I think this is pretty conclusive. Uh, the Mini 2 is supposed to handle wind speed a lot better than the original Mini and it clearly is not. I am really surprised. All right, guys, so first off, I have to say this was not a controlled environment, so my experience is somewhat subjective. However, I've been flying all the DJI drones for over four years, so I have a pretty good feel for how they should fly. That being said, the Mavic Mini was superior in holding position and also better flying into the wind. Now, I know this is completely contrary to DJI specs for these two drones, but if any of you have experienced the same or different than my own experience, then please post a comment below. But for myself, I will be even more skeptical flying the Mini 2 in windy conditions. Alright guys, that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. And as always, happy flying.